Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the flat barbell bench press. First thing you want to do is make sure that your scapula is engaged. Also make sure that you're actually squeezing your lats also. So you don't want to just bring your shoulders back, you want to bring them back and down. That's going to give you a perfect uh, stability with your shoulder. A lot of people tend to injure, injure their shoulder when they're doing bench presses. And that's usually the reason. If you're rolling your shoulders up with all that weight on the shoulder itself, Trust me, that's gonna, you're definitely going to get injured and you're going to take like two weeks off or three weeks off or depending how bad you hurt yourself, months. You might never be able to bench press again. So just make sure your shoulders are back and engaged into that. You're digging it into the bench. But now that you understand that, basically what you want to do is let's talk about tempo first. So you notice that my tempo is slow and controlled. It's not like excessively slow, like a 10 second negative or something like that. But you just want to make sure that you're controlling the weight because unless you are, the chance of injury starts going up. Also make sure that when you bring down the bar, that you're bringing it right to around nipple level. And what that does is it helps your forearm stay perpendicular to the ground. So you're pressing directly up with your joint stacked, basically your wrist and your elbow. Uh, also make sure that you're keeping those elbows fairly tucked in. You don't want to keep your elbows flared out to the sides. Reason is, is because the closer your elbows are to you, the more stability you're going to have because there's no la lateral movement. The more you bring your elbows out, the more the bar can like kind of tilt a little more. So this is what I recommend. Um, so just make sure that you, you, you do that. I think that's going to give you the best chances of safety at least. Another thing you want to do is notice how I'm holding the bar. I'm not holding like a suicide grip with my thumb on on the other side there. The reason is is because I don't like that other grip because it can just easily slip out of your hands if you if you're pressing or being too aggressive. So I re I recommend you just wrap your thumb around there for some added security and uh, make sure that you're using the tempo that we talked about before. Another thing I want to touch on is my lower back. It's not excessively arched. I don't even think it's arched to be honest um, in this video, but you don't want an excessive arch in your lower back. If you do, it's because, you know, you're trying to like build muscle or something. Sorry, you're trying to lift heavier weight. So you're limiting the range of motion. I get that. But for building muscle, just keep your lower back flat. Charles Glass, a great trainer, talked about that and I recommend it too. So notice that I'm bringing the bar near my chin. This is not a good position for your elbows. One slight twitch and you're done. Another thing is bringing the bar too far down, like to your stomach. You don't want to do that because notice my forearms they are not perpendicular to the ground anymore. They're like rolling. They're rolling like in front of me. Another thing like I said before, like arching your lower back or raising your butt off the bench. I don't recommend it. That usually means it's too heavy and you can't control it. Another common mistake is keeping your neck up. Just relax your neck, guys. Just work your chest if you're going to work your chest. So just keep your head back. Don't, don't raise it like that. Also taking an excessively close grip. This is technically an exercise, but we're, we're doing a barbell bench press. We're not doing that. Another thing is taking an excessively wide grip. Again, if you're a power lifter, it makes sense. If you're a bodybuilder, I don't think so. Or you're trying to build muscle. Also, full range of motion, guys. If it doesn't touch your chest, it doesn't count. Also, if you're going all the way down and you're coming up, just make sure that you're not doing that. That um, technically keeps more tension, but there's muscle fibers that you're not activating. So here's some common mistakes when it comes to bringing your shoulders back, bringing your shoulders too high. You don't want your shoulders that high. You actually want to bring them down and back and then engage right there. Squeeze those lats, squeeze those rhomboids. All right, guys, that's it. Hope it helps. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. And if you want to take it a step further and work with us or support the channel further, there are a few ways you could do that down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.